All right, so let's take a look at a C++ example using Virtual Programming Lab and E-Class or Moodle. So we're going to set up a new activity, it'll be a Virtual Programming Lab activity, and we're going to get this auto-graded. All right, so here we go. So that we're going to name the activity right here. So it's just going to be a simple C++ VPL example with auto-grading. And uh, typically it's a good idea to have a short and a long description for things that the students will be seeing. In this case, I'm just going to make a little short little description here. And um, I'm going to make sure the grade's out of 100, but we can change that if we want to. Save and display. And now I'm going to go into the settings and take a look at execution options. And here I can select which kind of C++ compiler I want from uh, just the default one, or we can be specific about C++17 or something. We're going to allow running and evaluation and automatic grading here. All right, so we're going to go back into the main part of the, the uh, activity. I'm going to take a look at requested files. Now, requested file is basically the template that I set up. It's important to have the .cpp extension on it so that um, uh, VPL and E-Class or Moodle knows that this is a C++ file. And this is what the students are going to modify. All right, so typically it's a good idea to, to give them a, a template and then leave some blank things in here or, or uh, you know, some instructions about what to, to, to do. In this case, all we're doing is doing an out to for hello world. So we're just going to send that out from the program and we're going to look for that string uh, in order to evaluate it. Now, in terms of, of what I'm doing here, I'm going to use the default VPL server that the Spanish uh, developers for VPL have set up. Uh, but normally you'd want to, to set it up on your own local server, okay, using local execution servers. But in this case, I didn't. All right, so now I want to put the test case and there's only going to be one test case, and, and you can have either a test case that is uh, output only or output and input. In this case, we're just doing a hello world. We're just going to see that hello world is printed to the screen. So I'm, I'm just doing an output only test case. All right, so now I'm going to switch over to student mode using demo student in eClass or Moodle. I'm going to go find that activity. So there it is right there. I click on it some instructions and it sort of, this is what the student would see and I'm going to take a look in the grade book uh, because often a student wants to see what's left to be graded in the grade book and here we can see there's the activity right there and it has no mark associated with it so I'm going to click on that activity and, and let's do it so I click on the edit tab and in here I can see that my uh, hello world is uh, uh, set up I save it I execute it just to run it to see that it, it works and displays hello world and sure enough it does. So this is from again from the student perspective. Now I'm going to evaluate it. And it should tell me if it was right or not. And then assign a grade. Let's take a look at what it says. It says one test run and one test passed and the student gets 100 out of 100 on this activity because there's a match between what the program outputted and what was being evaluated. And there you have it a C++ evaluation in Virtual Programming Lab.